Mike, you're good to go whenever. All right, what's up, guys? It's Music Mangs back. This time, this is the season premiere for season two of the Music Mangs podcast. We are on with Stay Pretty. Can you hear it, guys? Everybody at once. This is the I'll energy. Right. Yeah. I am Mike Walro, aka Mikey Dog. With me, we've got Sean Jarahani, and we are about to dive into these guys and talk about who they are and what they do. So, Sean, let's kick us off the first question. Yeah. So, I think the the first question everybody has is what what stay pretty like are you guys the label are you guys a rap collective like can you guys set the record straight for us once and for all uh yeah so uh stay pretty is a group uh i would say we're more like a collective uh i wouldn't necessarily just say rap because like everyone uh dabbles in like different genres like jason he makes like kind of like i guess like alt rock and say so does brandon and we be making sh- other shit with other people so i don't know yeah but uh we're yeah we're a collective i would say uh close to like kind of like tde where we're trying to just build and grow and uh push into the industry yeah that's awesome and where did this idea come from uh me and uh brun ice we've had this idea for uh, like a long ass time like for yeah. years, we're like, yeah, yeah, we're gonna make state pretty records. We're gonna do this. We're gonna, and we always have like all every collective we've uh been in, we've always had like little bits and pieces and uh like uh that kind of show up in this. And so, yeah, I would say uh we were just this is the idea we've always had, and this is the artist that we're starting out with. Yeah, I mean we've we've had yeah we've we've been ran through in the collectives. Yeah. We've, been, <laughs> we've had so many groups and labels and whatever so i think at this point it was just like it always comes down to the people you're with uh and before i think some of the people i wasn't sure about and you think oh it's not a big deal i like most of the people but finally it feels like i'm you know it's like a group with everybody who i'm really passionate about i'm really excited like there's there's not one person that i'm like ooh, that person i gotta steer away from yeah yeah and it's like everyone is dedicated about music. And that's an, a mm-hmm. thing that like a lot of collectives struggle with is like not everyone's trying to has the same end goal or has the same uh, drive. And it's like like Brandon, for example, Zebra Troop, he'd be making beats every day. He'd be sending me new songs like this man does not like he Literally does not insane, like stop working. Bro. Yeah, he's crazy <laughs> with it. And so it's just like, it's just great to be around a group of people who are very dedicated and wanting to make music and succeed in it. Yeah, I like that you guys are going by collective as much as you are like like mm-hmm. group because it sounds like, and I think it comes through on like what we've heard so far. It's not like a lot of guys like, yeah, we do a lot of stuff. But like mm-hmm. you guys, for real, the sound from track to track can really vary, but every time mm-hmm. it hits and you can feel that kind of influence from, I'm sure yeah. you're pulling. It's not just one guy making a beat. Y'all pulling yeah, yeah. bits and pieces. And it, it sounds, you can tell, and it, it speaks as cohesive. It's really impressive. Um, so I want to keep one, I want to kind of keep going off of talking about like what we heard and some of the beats, some of the music that we heard. Um, and maybe put put some of these, these inspirations and influences together as to who kind of inputs what. So mm-hmm. one thing that I that I heard through all of what we listened to was this this common like motif of a lot of the tracks have this like even if it's whether it's light or heavy they've got a little bit of synth in there right it's a little bit of even on tracks you wouldn't wouldn't expect it you hear a little bit of synth popping up in the background and kind of drives everything forwards where does that inspiration come from and how do you implement it into so many of these tracks i think i think probably aaron aaron and brandon could probably tell you they're the they've been producing (laughs) Most stuff that I've heard, Bruno produced a lot too, and mm-hmm. so does Jason. And, but Arturia, shout out Arturia. <laughs> oh, at the at the beginning of quarantine, there was a yeah. sale on like all the Arturia synths, mm-hmm. and it was like really cheap. So I bought it, and then I gave the yeah. download to Aaron. Yeah, and so that and so that it's just new synths we playing with. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's like I guess uh, we listen to. I don't know, Brandon, Brandon, for example, or Brandon can talk about his inspiration, but it's like, we both share, like, we love Tame Impala. Yeah. So it's like, I would say I'm very influenced by Tame Impala. And so, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, it's definitely, it's, 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 it's really good. And I think it really, it's just, again, it's one of those things that like the way it fits within all the tracks we heard, it really complements you guys yeah, yeah. and your kind of chemistry as a whole. Um, so yeah, it's, it's pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. I think, I think. And uh, yeah. Brun and Ice and Aaron, how'd you guys go about crafting this roster? What were you looking for? Well, we uh, we held a tryout. Yeah, um, it was very hard tryout. And, yeah, it was start. There's three parts. There's physical endurance, mm-hmm. um, musical prowess, and then a talent competition. And everybody just kind of competed. No, uh, it's just people. It's just people yeah. we knew. I wish there yeah. was a better story. It's just <laughs> random people we knew in the scene. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's like we worked with like everyone in the past few years. Like Brandon and I went to high school together. Uh, we've known like Jason, Ariel, and the culture. We've known him for years. Same for like I've known Khalid. So it's just like it just no one was like together. It wasn't like mm-hmm. a group like yet. Yeah, like some people didn't know each other, and so just bringing it all together somehow just fucking worked. And it's crazy how it worked. Yeah. What about what? some? Uh other perspectives of some of the artists that you know were asked to join this collective uh what do you guys uh have to say about being asked to join um from my perspective hi everyone my name is khalid um i think it was like s- summer 2020 or something and then uh we were making uh the song push the start with uh, pretty boy aaron brown nice and it's aaron the culture song and uh, i think that's when the questions started about like oh should we make like a a, a group setting not necessarily like a rap group but like a, a type of like collective I think that's when the question started from them to us uh, that's when I first heard about it and uh, that's when it first started I think we, our first name was like 1108 and then we like <laughs> we were like uh, I think we later on didn't like that name and then we like started adding people like I know like Aaron knew uh, Zebra Troop from high school and they like been producing back and forth I knew Jerome Bruno from he's produced a bunch of Chroma stuff and I think it just added that way and then uh, I know Jordy from the Dallas scene and then uh, he kind of joined in that way because he does like a bunch of graphics for a bunch of artists he's done covers for like AWOL um, and he has his own like clothing line therapy so um, it just kind of went in that way like people knew different people and it just kind of joined that way but that's when i first heard about it and i was like oh i'm hella down like <laughs> I, I i need help from like i would like help from everyone like, i've never done solo stuff so i i think that's how how it started for me um but yeah i uh i definitely joined because dreamville wasn't hiring so <laughs> from my no. from my perspective didn't even like ask if i want to join it was kind of he just like forced he, he just forced himself like thing. dead ass. No, we yeah. forced him. He oh, said no. Yeah, oh. We had to drag him in by his ear, bro. He didn't want to come. Yeah. No, do you guys yeah, have... was uh or you go, oh, sorry. go, go, go. Uh this this was Jerome. Uh, but I, I was very excited to join because I had been working with Chroma very much uh on their two previous projects. And I was really looking to work with uh, more of the Dallas scene as I would meet them at concerts and whatever. And what I thought was really cool about Stay Pretty is that um, everyone in it really has a different talent. So um, you can look to anyone for a special thing and someone will always have it. And uh, it, that's what makes it really useful as well. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of fun. Jerome touched on it a bit just with having, you know, all those different talented people in the room, but how's the chemistry been so far when you guys are working together? Uh, to be honest with you, I'm doing it. <laughs> No, it surprisingly is like very smooth. Like I was talking, I think I was talking about it earlier today or, or yesterday. I was like, it's just crazy how like, I don't know, everyone can just on a work together because uh what we what we ended up doing like once we had the group pretty much together we uh we did a retreat out in san marcos and that was the real test no like not everyone had met with each other or like seen each other face to face and so like after we did the san marcos trip and you just you can instantly tell things are clicking and like people were like working with each other we're like someone was working in this room someone was working in this room and then and then it was just mostly a time to just like get to know each other. And then once we left, we just got back to work and it just, I don't know, we like meet up. We're like, oh yeah, let's work on this, let's do this. And so it's just crazy. Yeah, I think I think one thing that everybody keeps kind of bouncing back and forth 
you talk about each of you's got like your own like special talent or like certain things that you're really good at and especially if you're going on a trip like that did you notice any times where like just like any certain i know we even see it amongst ourselves as as like when we're looking, trying to get content on ourselves you see this like two guys or three guys who just pair up like pair up and then they'll disappear uh, and they'll start grinding on something and they'll come out with something you really didn't expect are there you know kind of what what little like i don't want to say subgroups but everybody's where, where you're meeting up you know two or three really unique sound and coming out with something that's really unique are there you know certain groups of you that kind of end up meeting up like that um say like the trip mainly like the groups i mean like brandon and um jason kind of stuck together because they're more like of an instrument type people yeah they know how to play instruments or whatever <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> and then like me trey uh aaron khalid would just take the upstairs and like do what we can you know and there's two rooms upstairs too so like we could split up if we wanted to but it just depended on like mm-hmm. what was going on at the time but now it's like I would say uh like post uh Khalid and Brandon make like some weird shit. I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, yeah it, it's, it's cool. Yeah, I feel I feel like me and Brandon have been working a lot post that yeah. uh post that trip. Like during that trip, we didn't really get to like work collaborate as much, but uh after that we like been hopping mm-hmm. on each other's stuff. So I'm really excited about that. Yeah, and then me and Trey, uh, we always work together, so that's that's a duo right there too. And then Jason, Jason Ben, well, I won't say all that. Never mind. So, but Jason, I uh, worked with Khalid and like, yeah, it's, it's good. Okay. And what kind of, you mentioned, I mean, here's some instrumentalists. And what kind of instruments do we, do we have live on, on, on the music now? Trumpets. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm really good at, at uh, ham boning. Oh, no, yeah. Dude, that was real prominent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you heard it in the tracks they sent. They might have turned it off. But yeah, yeah. yeah. It's well, in we, there. Yeah. But what we've been referencing when we were talking about what we've heard is uh the beats that you guys currently have. Oh, yeah, for sale. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then obviously we've heard uh Studio 62, which oh, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. that's technically a, a safety yeah, record. That right? was the that was the first the technically uh it was me and Bruno worked on that and then mm-hmm. Trey, so did Trey. And so that was like, that was one of the first uh, projects and it wasn't necessary. We had the old logo on there and then when Jordy worked on it, like put it together. So it, it, it kind of was like an unofficial, like stay pretty really. It was like, we have stay pretty on there, but it, we didn't realize it's going to be what we're doing now. For sure. about that old logo, dog. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> I said what's coming up next doesn't sound anything like studio. Yeah, Sessions. we really. Yeah. Yeah, we've we've grown a lot in the yeah. last few like months. Yeah. yeah. So. Then, yeah. yeah. So what is coming up next? Ah. Oh. So. <laughs> June. What do we? So what are we saying here? So June twenty fifth is gonna be like <laughs> our first like official rollout, kind of collaborative song it's got a lot of us on it it's got khalid aaron brandon me yeah yeah and then we're very that, excited about it single yeah. we yeah. all collectively work together on and yeah. uh we were all in the room i want to say too when it was made so mm-hmm. oh yeah jordy on there too that's yeah, his... jordy on yeah jordy is on <laughs> that's his vocal debut bro yes, sir. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah i mean I can't believe you really left him out the dry there. You weren't even gonna yeah. mention that he was making his debut. <laughs> he, had to, he had to be like, um, actually, I was in the room too. Uh, well, dude. Oh, I was so talking he, more he, like he's graphic, about to leave y'all for like, Dreamville. Come on, come on. I didn't have to mention that. I was like, oh yeah, we're all on it. Uh everybody, uh yeah, that's him. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, and then after that, we're doing singles, like uh, we worked on like uh, each other's songs like we got worked on Trey. I'm not gonna announce his shit, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we we just been working uh, on solo shit. So. Yeah, I would say the biggest the biggest strength, at least to me, is just that it's it's sort of like we're all growing individually as artists because we have like a pooled resources of everybody, and mm-hmm. it's just it's I mean I've grown a lot and like and you know Khalid touched on it, 
how it's like our sound has changed so much. It's like we're able to reach so much further in what we're good at when we don't have to, you know, struggle in things we aren't as good at because we have all these other people kind of picking up those aspects. Yeah. So all the solo music is coming out from everybody. It's just yeah. been sounding crazy. It's crazy. Does anybody want to announce anything? We can, we can, announce, <laughs> we can announce. We already got the leaks. So you just got to give him five bucks and he'll yeah. make all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, bro, $5 a demo, dog. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I definitely got something within by the end of July coming. So that's all I got to say. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I want to there- say, oh, wait, wait, is anyone else talking? Okay, but uh, I want to say that I'm going to be dropping like a single a month till I drop like my first EP on like everywhere and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. that's what I got working on. I'm excited about it. Khalid, I feel like you're like the the rapper workhorse of the group. Like if anyone needs a rap first, <laughs> bro, I hate it, bro. You have uh, no, Khalid, can, uh, Khalid rap on everything, bro. He's bro, a I can hard, hop. hard working vocal, bro. <laughs> we'll throw a beat in the chat. We're like, hey, what do you think of this? And Khalid will have a verse, and we're like, fuck. <laughs> uh, during the trip, uh, me a file that said, "Don't show Khalid these beats." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you gotta you gotta start sending him dummy stuff. Just send just like random garbage. Like, just he'll go in the corner. And, on it, bro. Like old duds. Like the reverse of lift yourself. Like like Kanye oh, yeah. had the, had the sick yeah. beat, and then he did yeah, scoop yeah. diddy poop. Just send him a scoop diddy poop beat, and have him yeah. try to rap on it. He'll yeah. do it. I'll do it. Yeah, I'll make it, it good too. Yeah. yeah. That's that's the worst part. He he can mm-hmm. rap on anything, and he's good at rapping on anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like damn. Uh, yeah. It's the bilingual flows. Bilingual flows. That's crazy. <laughs> but yeah. Anyone else want to announce anything? What y'all got going? Um, Brandon. Uh, oh, Brandon. Yeah. Yeah. What's your time? I canceled it, bro. I'm not, I'm not really. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bruno. Jerome. Uh, Jerome, sorry. I just I just kind of show up mysteriously. You'll probably see me on uh, tracks in the future, but I, I jump around. I'm, I'm working on solo stuff, but there's no date for that because that's on the back burner. So. Yeah, he's kind of like a force spirit. You just kind of think about him and he'll show up and produce something. <laughs> And then Khalid will come in and steal the file off his computer. And <laughs> rap on yes. it. Rap I, I on it. Do that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. Cool. Well, I think one thing, if, if let's just, if y'all could real quick, give me like something that describes your music right now, just like a couple words. What would it, what would, what would you say from your perspective? You're in like each of your individual perspectives. Like separately or like together? Right. Uh, let's let's do uh have you uh, each person say how you would describe yeah. your sound right now? Yeah, in five words or less. Yeah, five words yeah. or less. Oh my goodness. Um. Um. Next, somebody pat somebody else go. <laughs> uh, I would say Kanye West stepchild. Yeah, we'll say that. Oh, I like that. I like that. Whoa, like a child one or two words. Yeah. Oh, that's true. (laughs) It's less. It's It's still still under under five. Yeah. Yeah. My phrase would be everything is different because we we jump from genre to genre so fast. (laughs) Yeah. We just send files. Oh, yeah. It's just, it's crazy. No, yeah. It's good. It's good. Um all right, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Um vocals and auto tune. Ooh, three words. I right. um mine sounds like drinking Fanta at the beach. Drinking. Oh wait, no. Drinking is one word. Drinking Fanta at the beach. Five. Bro, that's, that's good. Bro, that's why? Good. Why are you like? Perfect. Dude, he's that's just good with words. words. Yeah, no. <laughs> why am I like what? Yeah, why am I like, like, <laughs> uh, Trey's like checking everyone. He's like the police right now, bro. I am. <laughs> like, are you under five words? Are you under five words? 
I'm the I'm the word police, bro. Yeah. Uh, if I gotta go, um, music your abuela listens to. Oh, that sounds like a bar right there. That's, <laughs> that's five. You you get this from all the abuelas, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like like I didn't announce myself, but this is Ariel in the culture. But it's like music you can listen to with your abuela, and they'll be like, "Don't turn that shit off." Or sorry, I don't know. If I, sorry, don't turn that off. <laughs> Man. You can like, curse. There's, there's five there's words. Oh, yeah. Don't turn that shit off. That's that's, that's, that's a good. One. That's another one. Wait, Wait, that's a good ass tag one. Bar. That, that is a good ass. That Should is, be your producer tag. Like, yeah. Don't turn that shit off. Uh, I'm about to ask. My bad. No, that's all good. Does anyone else want to hop in for that one or? Jordy. Jordy, describe your designs in five words or less. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Jordy. Dude, that, yeah, that is, Jordy. That is, right yeah, now, yeah, Jordy. The art is the most, is like, the most underappreciated uh, of this. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I just want to say they're all over the place because everybody here got different styles. So, like, try to uh, attack each person's vision as closely as I can. Thank you, Jordy, for all your hard work. I do want to yeah, highlight man. Brandon, though, because Brandon been quiet right now. Bro, oh, I know that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Brandon, Brandon, oh, yeah, Zebra Troop. Sleeper, like, oh, he left. He gone. <laughs> <laughs> he can really do everything. It's insane. So, bro, yeah. he got this. He got this one track, and he sounded like an unproblematic Tory Lanez. <laughs> <laughs> that's something to think of. That's something. Bro, am I really unproblematic though? Yes. <laughs> I hope for our sake you <laughs> <laughs> uh, ain't that problematic. Uh, but yeah, no, Brandon, low key, I'm telling y'all, just, just give us a few months. Brandon gonna drop some shit. Right? He's, he's yeah, been insane. on a roll lately. He's been on a roll lately. Like yeah, it's dude. Crazy. It's insane. Thank you. I do want to highlight some of the beats quick that were listed uh on the, the, the st- what what is it, Aaron? It's like oh, that, that's our track train. That's uh yeah, our, yeah. We're just selling those beats. Yeah, so I just want to highlight some of those real quick. If there's any rappers who are looking for some fire beats, um, this one track, Roach, Mike. I think you had a fire or one beat. Yeah. I don't want to call it a track. It's yeah. not. A, it's not a track. This yeah. one beat, Roach, Mike. Talk about it a little bit, dude. It is. It is. It is. I don't know who did the baseline for that. I don't know who threw that wacky synth in there, but it's this really like bumbling like almost drunken but still holds together like earl sweatshirt vince staples type beat it is it is it is it is dope it is it is like sickly it is nasty but it is good dude i don't know what it is about it but it sticks in my head that is a mad impressive beat like just from front to back it sounds like it sounds like the most well put together train wreck I've ever heard in my entire life. Like it's just, it's so good. There's wow. no better way to describe it, but it's just, like I said, it's just like stumbling beat that just like every time, like you, like you expect one thing, something else happens, but it sounds mm-hmm. good. Dude. And it sounds, it sounds, it's, it's, been, it's fantastic. Yeah. And there's like, no. there's, there's, we go, 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 go. All I was going to say, it's funny because Brandon produced all those beats. And so, Ooh, dude. Yeah. There you go. As mentioned, that. on a roll. Yeah. On a roll. Hey, dude, I have yeah. no idea what you're talking about, but that sounds sick. <laughs> <laughs> a train wreck. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, we were we've been we've been trying to sell beats because uh we're trying to produce for other artists. Yeah. And so like Brandon and I, we were doing this, uh we went to our friend's house the other day, producing beats for him, mm-hmm. and just like we're just trying to push that producing side as well because producing mm-hmm. shit's easy for us. Like you just give us a, like an hour, we make a beat. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah. it's like I don't know. We're we're trying to. Oh, I feel like a lot of people, uh, especially in the Dallas scene, they just need good beats. So, yeah. dude, there's that's what I'm saying. Like a lot of up and coming artists just need mm-hmm. good beats. Like if you think about it, how many? I mean, personally, I'm just thinking about some of my favorite projects, mm-hmm. rap projects from the past year or two. They're all producer driven, really. Mm-hmm. If you yeah. think about it, yeah, oh. yeah, and that that's oh, yeah. why like I'm trying to like. I'm setting up these uh these projects, collab projects, and I'm not gonna announce any yet, but yeah. but like we're setting stuff up so we can be like, hey, this is our side. We're here, we're gonna make some beats for you, Larry. Let's work on some stuff. Let's make you some of the best beats you've wrapped on. Mm-hmm. 
we're not these aren't these ut beats these are something different and yeah. so yeah. it's crazy yeah, and they're, they're versatile as hell so like you got roach which is like very like i said earl sweatshirt vince mm-hmm. vince staples my other one of the other favorite ones was to his best friend which sounds like like it's a beach boys anthem yeah. like you can't help but like bop along mm-hmm. like yeah, yeah. uh there is there is another beat uh I, really all the beats felt like they had this like heartbeat to them that just like just kind of bumped along and like everything drives the track forwards and just they're really versatile and you could it's not just like oh man you make the same beat over and over again yeah, y'all yeah. have the have the have the the tools in the arsenal man to, to make some really fire thank, stuff thank you so, yeah yeah Another thing too, um, me and Aaron talk about this all the time about like uh, this group is like really good for building any artist. Like, mm-hmm. throw us anybody, and you know they're gonna have a fire beat, fire graphics, mm-hmm. blah blah. Like, so I think with what we got going on, it's gonna be sick to hear at the end of the day uh, what all we can bring to the table. Yeah, like even outside of Texas, like I'm trying to get. Mike, I'm trying to get Gooch to rap on some of their beats. Yeah. Like that's why that's why I initially uh, reached out to Aaron, and I was like, because yeah. I saw he was selling yeah. beats, and I was like, I got to get some of these for Gooch. And yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, any any artist, no matter where you're from, I mean, check these beats out. They're really yeah. sick, and will take you to the next level. And we'll have more up soon. We're just, yeah, we just got to make some more. <laughs> <laughs> See, I got. He's gonna. Uh, he doesn't steal them and rap them. Yeah. Hey, if he buys them, get, he can rap them. You gotta get <laughs> in the a way, bidding. Get in a bidding war with Khalid. Bro, <laughs> the way, the way you're making these track train songs sound, I'm about to go buy them. <laughs> you're gonna have to make. You're gonna have to make a separate collective that's just like no Khalid allowed. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> no, no, we got we got hella beats about to be up there don't mm-hmm. worry yeah and then hella music's about to drop so yeah yeah so could yeah. say it's a stay pretty summer yeah you could yeah. say that you could say you, that you can in fact you, you can Let's you say should it. say <laughs> that <laughs> you will say that you know what you will that. you will have no choice but to say that brand partnership with stay pretty records I'm obliged to say it is a stay pretty <laughs> summer. <laughs> yes, sir. They pretty approved this message. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I really think Mike, Mike, do you have anything else to add on or any no, questions dog. to ask? You, you guys, you guys, I mean, you guys are you guys are the collective of the summer. And it's just I'm super excited to see what you guys do and everything. Cause like really you do i mean i know in terms of expectations, I know it's gonna be good, but as to what it sounds like and what the vibe is. Mm-hmm. You, you have no idea this could be anything and you guys are all over the map and i'm so psyched like for having you guys have every sort of vibe every sort of track every, everything dude so all right can we play some play some stuff yeah. <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> are you kidding yes all right i'll just make a share who got who got the best setup to play music and they can hear it? i think i can i can do it if i share my screen Talk yeah you can it. share your screen oh, yeah. that's smart yeah. Bro, the last time last time we had Khalid and Aaron on, we heard uh, Khalid almost got into an accident. Dude, yeah. yeah, and that was crazy. That was crazy, <laughs> thank though. You. Thank you. That was hard. <laughs> I was not prepared for how hard that really? beat was. Oh, thank dude. you, bro. Yeah, <laughs> that was crazy. Oh, you going to Penn State? Yeah, bro. Yeah, I don't <laughs> have <been> twice in <laughs> review. <laughs> We're looking shout at out. files right now. <laughs> shout, shout out to Penn State for the oh, free oh, subscription. Oh wait, the album on there. Yeah. <laughs> What's up with that screenshot? Everybody look for the album. Everybody look for the album. Bro, hey, chill, bro. Hey, why you screenshot a white lady twice? Who is it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, chill, bro. I think it's girlfriend's favorite rapper. Ooh. Oh yeah. I've been- that's it. That's the preview. What y'all think? Bro, there's so <laughs> many, so many files under summer 2021. Oh, Gotta bro. be excited. It's Literally. mixed three, right? Or no? I, th- I think it's mixed three. I think it's mixed three. Yeah, this is that. This is a song called Bottle Blonde. It is. Uh, yeah, this is going to come out the 25th, produced by me and Brandon and features. Yeah, the people that we said earlier, Trey, Khalid, um, someone else. Wait, Trey, Khalid, and Brandon. And Brandon. Super and true. Brandon. Super true. Run nice, super true. Brandon's first yeah. dog is insane. So, so, yeah, let's see if I can play it. Out the door, 
it's not for me goes our reward I keep the peace without reward I keep the peace without the war I can take another breath though uh, Y'all can see me on my best though uh, I'm too fly for a dress code uh, So me fuck with a best row uh, But is it ever really worth it? Go another week, my tank on you What am I to be? A check to eat A price to keep your side to me Are you even close to what you wanna be? Yeah. So what about it? play anymore <laughs> bro, you, can't, you can't play the whole song bro. Hey, bro, bro. i wanted to get random rest of least so. oh. <laughs> they don't Damn. got any reason to listen to the song now they just don't play the pod off at the worst time <laughs> who was who was on that second verse because that shit was hot brandon, that was, brandon dude, brandon. dude, dude that true. shit was hot dude, <laughs> so oh, trying to tell y'all thank you dude. zebra troop zebra troop dude that shit was hot the baseline was fucking Fires, less that was more, just just vibes, dude. That was. I feel like I'm I am currently in my sweaty ass apartment right now, but I feel <laughs> like I'm on the fucking beach of Malibu. Yeah. This is fucking. Oh. <laughs> and then is that is that bro nice on the chorus? Oh, uh, that's that's yeah. Khalid and bro nice. Uh, okay, yeah, I wasn't sure. I thought it sounded it sounded pretty. I don't know, Khalid. Sometimes you got that high pitch. Yeah, that was that but, was Khalid's high pitch. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's mostly Khalid pitch. on the hook. I'm just in the Bro, little back. I feel like, I f- Khalid. I feel like you're like, not to gas you up too much, because like I feel like you're you're getting <laughs> gassed up a lot on this call. Keep keep it going. <laughs> but like, you're tr- you just keep getting better. Everything yeah. I hear, it just sounds better and better. Your your presence on the mic is just constantly improving. Oh, thank you so much. I really Dude. appreciate that. <laughs> Dude, I love that. I love that the first time we had you on Khalid, you were like, yeah, like I kind of rap a little. And now you're bro, like, fuck oh, yeah. Khalid, I no. <laughs> bro, the first time we had Khalid on, he was like, I do the Spanish parts. <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> he was like, yeah. yeah. And that's what that's part of what's nice of working with these guys is that like I was able to grow from someone that wasn't like really like confident in like my artistry as a solo artist. And now like uh, all of these guys like have taught me and like have helped me build that confidence. So that's something that's nice about everyone here. Everyone uplifts each other and like helps each other grow. So I appreciate all of y'all. <laughs> Problem, my guy. I Not the thing he's ever said. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I bet. <laughs> so I'll remember that. I'll remember that. Yeah. Um. Is there anything else uh that you guys have to share or want to get in? Right now, um, I, Ariel on the culture has a preview as well. He wants to show as well. Um, I yeah, believe I, Aaron I, has it now. Aaron should uh, have it now. Yeah, I, all right, yo, Aaron, right. you can play one of mine if you want to. Yeah, n- n- yeah, just play it. Play, send me all y'all shit, bro. I'll, I'll <laughs> play some songs, bro. We got time. <laughs> I think this is not the master. Though, oh, Brandon, what are you gonna play though? Yeah, which one? I, I, I'll let Aaron decide. All right, yeah, yeah. Which Did you likes? send it? Uh, send it to text <laughs> messages. Don't leave the messages, bro. Yeah, yeah bro. no, hold on. I'm going to stop sharing my screen. So. <laughs> um, Aaron, just so you know, when we, we'll pro- we're we going to upload this to YouTube, but we'll like blur out your screen. Okay, good. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> bro, share all the ex- ex- Except for those two. Okay, expose us. Yeah, those two <laughs> we'll just make it the screenshots. <laughs> Please blow those up. I want to see what those were. <laughs> it looked like a congresswoman or some shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, that's like one of the. Uh, the ladies who like works at the FDA is my dad. Yeah. Never oh. <laughs> Bro, you just bring your dad into this. 
It was for a video I'd had to make. And so, okay. Robert well, was in the other room. Oh, like, we thought Trey was the police. <laughs> <laughs> Who else got something? So I have uh, I have Melt Away, Brandon. Dude, Melt Julio. Away. Yes. What else? Uh, I sent Jasper, I think. Oh, did you get it? Yeah, I got it. All right, yeah, I got it. Let me. Okay. Y'all are signing bangers, bro. <laughs> I'll I'll play something too. All right, so who are we starting with? I want to hear some air in the culture, bro. Yeah, let's let's do Jason. Start with Jason. Let's do yeah. Bruce. Nah, 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 nah. Well, we, we should maybe make Jason go last. Chao, ¿a quién quieres dedicarle esta próxima canción? Girasol en San Luis Obispo. Y'all gonna have to tell me when to cut it. Gracias por sintonizarse a AX. You got it after the first one. All right. Esta canción es para ti. Te quedas en mi corazón y yo no quiero más Cuando yo estoy contigo, amor, ¿qué es que tú piensas? Me pierde en tus sueños y no quiero amanecer Ok Bro, don't, don't turn that shit off. Bro, don't turn that shit off. <laughs> bro. <laughs> bro. Jason told Damn. me to. Jason told me to. <laughs> yeah. y'all, y'all can't hear the rest. It's not mixed. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's the song I got coming out. I signed a, a deal. So uh, a version of that song is going to come out really soon. But uh, the that version that you just heard is going to come out with Stay Pretty later this year. So oh. Awesome. Sounds like a summer hit. I'm a f- I'm sad I can't drop it in the summer for legal reasons, but you know, <laughs> it happens. You got next summer, my guy. It's a it's a post summer blues hit, bro. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm really excited about that one. It's called uh, "Do We You, You and I" in uh, in English for our American listeners. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Do we yo? All right, uh, I'll play "Melt Away" next. And that was cool. They mix it all though. <laughs> This what is, is it? Oh. Personal favorite. <laughs> hey, what are the credits? What are the credits for Melt Away before we get into it? This oh, this is uh Zebra Troop. I think yeah. I think it's mostly yeah, I think you did it's everything. Yeah, yeah, cool. Good. But Aaron gonna mix it, so it's gonna sound better. <laughs> 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 Brandon, that's so fucking good, bro. That is my favorite song. Uh, that's my favorite. It, so, it sounds like a road trip. <laughs> <laughs> that, it, it really does sound like a road trip. I like that comparison. But that's what it's about. <laughs> what the hell? You need a manager? I Crazy. got you. Crazy. All right. So we got uh, Jasper. This is Khalid. Uh, and Blue. I'm. A, 
Does you just want me to stop after the course? Uh, you can you can stop it after blue. That's fine. Okay. It's very one, early draft. One, two, one, two, one, one, two. Un día te dejé de conocer. Uh, gracias porque fue un placer. Uh, eres mi ángel, lo sé, yo sé, yo sé que tú me quieres. A veces pienso lo que hago en un mes. Pierdo más del que tú crees. Voy a perdonar, voy a pasar más tiempo con ellos. Espero que escuches todos mis rezos. Uh, armo la fiesta, tengo mi alma antes de la siesta. Uh, ya dejé lo de los rilos, ya no me tocan la puerta. Uh, ya que me toque ver a tu pochillo, ya me tocará tiempo con los niños. Uh. Straight to the straight to the heart. My faith don't break when I shoot for the stars. I'll be goddamn lying if I say I don't miss it. 45 cows and I'm back to the prison. Scream to the scream to the sky, but the guys won't listen. But the guys won't listen. I'm a man, I'm a man after all. I came from- Yeah, I'm gonna stop it there. I'm stop it there. Blue is perfect for that beat. Bro, I said the same thing, dude. Yeah, that, that that one's a very early draft. That that song, um, we made it while we were making Primavera, but Polo didn't really like it. <laughs> I'm sorry, put you on blast, but yeah, yeah, I I just like fuck it. If you don't like it, I'll just keep it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, I really like the song. But that yeah, it'll probably change a lot before the final version because mm-hmm. yeah, we're gonna change the beat and stuff. But yeah, and then uh, I'll play one more. This is a my oh. song. Oh, wait, okay. this is a new wait. Yeah. Whoa, what is this? What, yeah. whoa. Ooh. what is oh, this? Drum roll, bro. Uh, Exclusive. Exclusive. <laughs> when you say that there's a problem. There's a problem. something off my project that's no, dude, no, yeah, it's kind of, wow we just shot a, yeah we just shot a video yeah. for that too what's so. the name Ooh. of the hell yeah y'all got exclusive exclusive because yeah, you're gonna be showing this to nobody yeah <laughs> no and jordy's price for the demos went down just now <laughs> <laughs> he's like he's like you grub up me a, you grub up me a sandwich <laughs> yeah this is cheaper now but yeah that song's me and trey and then uh Ryan, the bassist from Luna Luna, he he played bass on that one. So yeah, that one's from. That's awesome. It should be out soon. More summer hits because yeah. it's gonna be a stay pretty summer. Stay pretty summer. It's because Calvin Harris never released Volume Two of Summer Wave Bounce, whatever. So we had to do it for him. Yeah. Dude, thank you. <laughs> that, that, yeah, that's what it sounds like. It does. Um, yeah, but is there anything else from you guys? Um, really appreciate having you guys on. Yeah. If not, I got I got nothing to announce. Thank you, bro. Thanks for having us. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for having yeah, us. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Of course. Stay stay on the stay on the watch for stay pretty. Like we can yeah. do left, we can grab, we can do 
Southern Rex Orange County had a baby with like Kali Uchi's like can do it all. So keep <laughs> stay stay scheming, baby, stay ready, was, stay pretty. And that baby was Kanye West steps in. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and then if you don't follow us on social media yet, our Twitter is stay pretty rec. Um and our Instagram is what? I forgot. Stay pretty records. Stay pretty records. If you yeah. Uh, yeah. We couldn't put Stay Pretty Records on Twitter, but y'all get it. <laughs> There's too, too many letters. Y'all know it. And to the fans and everybody who heard the demos and are excited, single coming out June 25th or 26th? 25th. Mm-hmm. June 25th, first single, debut, Stay Pretty, Stay Tuned. It's been another episode of the Music Mangs Podcast, Season 2. We'll be back mm-hmm. with more. Thank you guys for joining us. Yeah. Yeah.